During this episode of Breaking Eggs, we're going to continue on our mission of getting kids in the kitchen and discovering where their food comes from. Today's adventure of discovery brings us to this place with friends, Hedgehog Hollow, to share with you what has become a huge family tradition in our house over the years, which is mushroom hunting. The leaves that fall on the ground at this time of year are the same colour as the mushrooms we're looking for. So we need to focus in, and to do that, what do we need? Mushroom eyes! Mushroom eyes! Mushroom eyes! Jake, you're my chief mushroom hunter as well. You and Izzy. This one. Just clear the leaves away from it a little bit, and then get right down towards the base and cut. This is our hedgehog mushroom. These are unmistakable. You can't mix these up with any other mushrooms because they have these little spines. And this is the reason that they're called hedgehog mushrooms. All mushrooms need to be cut with a knife or they won't grow back. The exception to this rule is the chanterelle. What are you taking for? So they can all be involved, even from holding the bucket. And the good thing with the kids in mushroom picking is they're very low to the ground, so they spot these things a lot quicker than we do. Big one! Oh my goodness! It's a whole family of mushrooms! These are the yellow chanterelles, which are more the summer chanterelles, so we're very lucky that they're still around. And these are what I call the gold of the woods because I get so excited. It's the first sign of mushrooms all year. They have quite a, um, an apricot-y flavour. So all these mushrooms together, when we put them in the risotto, are just going to come out with so many woodland flavours. It's going to be gorgeous. mushrooms that we found in the woods. There's three different species, the summer chanterelles, the yellow leg chanterelles and the hedgehog mushrooms. Now I must stress, do not eat any mushrooms that you're not fully sure of. You must check with somebody who knows or get a good book and list at least five similarities with the specimen in the book. I found the River Cottage mushroom handbook very useful. So with these mushrooms we're going to make a lovely risotto which is great comfort food to get you through these chilly autumn days. So what we need are two pots, one with a wide base for the risotto, a ladle, a spatula, a wooden spoon and a pan. First things first, we need to clean the mushrooms and in this house we've got fairies and superheroes to do it. During autumn these wild mushrooms are often available in really good shops. But if you really want to use button mushrooms for this, it's the exact same process. They smell like flowers. One medium onion, chopped. Two cloves of garlic, chopped. 400 grams of risotto rice, arborio or carnaroli. 80 grams of butter. About 300 grams of mushrooms. 1 litre of chicken or vegetable stock, 200 grams of freshly grated parmesan, 2 to 3 tablespoons of olive oil, and some more olive oil for drizzling on top. Care and concentration is what's needed for a good risotto, and the more care that goes into it, the nicer it'll be. It's a great one for parents and children to do together in that it makes you slow down and concentrate on something simple for a minute together. Okay, ready? One, two, three. And now make your wish. Now that we've got the mushrooms cleaned, the first thing we need to do is warm up the stock so that it's ready for the risotto. Um, we use chicken stock. Uh, you can also use vegetable stock very easily, same thing. If you need to use a stock cube, you know, that's fine. So we put our pan on to heat up. We use half the butter. And then we're gonna add the mushrooms. So you need to move these around a little bit in the butter. These take two or three minutes cooking. And then set aside for later. So we use our wide bottom saucepan 
on the heat, this is for the risotto. You pour in your olive oil, the onions, and the garlic. Now you want these to soften, but not to brown. At this stage, I'll also add in some salt and pepper. If you put it in at the beginning, it brings out the flavor of the food, so you don't need so much. So we're pouring the rice into the pot, and you move it around in the oil and onions. Now what happens here is that the rice gets coated in the oil, and it helps it from absorbing the um, liquid too quickly, and that's what we want for risotto. It needs to cook slowly. When your rice is well coated in oil and has been on for about a minute, you start to add in the chicken stock. You get one ladle of chicken stock into the rice and stir. You wait for the chicken stock to be absorbed into the rice and then you add another ladle. Stirring is what's bringing out the creaminess in the risotto and it is very important that you let that liquid soak up before you add the next one. I'm about two thirds of the way through the stock, so it's time to add the mushrooms. And we just put them straight in with all the juices that are in the pan and everything. Another spoon of stock. Okay, so we just have a little taste. It's cooked, when it's cooked, there's just the slightest little bite to the rice. Take the end of the butter, put the butter in, and half of the parmesan that we've grated. The parmesan and the butter really help all this creaminess to come out in the risotto. Now this is where we leave it, to the side, for a minute while you're setting the table. A little bit of stock left over, even if it's hot water, if you've no stock left and you've got um, a little bit of water from your kettle and this is a little bit too thick, so we add in the end of the stock just when you're ready to serve because wherever I've traveled in Italy there's one thing about risotto, it's never sticky or stodgy. There's always got a little bit of movement in it and it's oozy and creamy. If the kids find the texture of the mushrooms a little bit too much to handle, you can always take them out. The mushrooms have given all their flavour to the risotto now, so it's fine. Take them out, let them enjoy it. The rest of the parmesan that we grated, and just a little drizzle of olive oil. 